Hey guys, welcome back. So today's an exciting day because it's the day I officially become a worm farmer. This is something I've wanted to do for years now and this is the year I'm finally doing it. So I got this hungry bin. I also have a thousand worms sitting right here and a bunch of stuff for them to snack on. I already compost, but I really wanted to get into worm farming, especially this year because there's been a lot of talk of fertilizer shortages. So this is something I've wanted to do and this is the year I'm finally taking that leap. I do compost, but I've been wanting to worm farm just to be able to get those castings and that worm tea and be able to use that directly on my garden space other than waiting for it to compost down because I don't use like a hot compost system or anything like that. So I am so excited to jump into this. I was actually gifted this hungry bin from Grow Oya. I love working with Grow Oya. You guys will see me use Oyas throughout my garden space. I will actually be putting a few more out today, actually. I've been doing research into worm farming for years, but there's a lot of DIYs and a lot of stuff that I just really didn't want to mess with initially. So the shape actually encourages the worms to stay at the top and the castings and all of the liquid go to the bottom to where you essentially really don't have to mess with the worms or disturb them, which allows the worms just to kind of live their lives so I like that I like that I don't have to like scoop out all of my stuff to be able to get my castings at the very bottom it already does that and it's a whole like flow system which I think is really really cool I'll obviously be keeping you guys updated on how I like this system as it is new to me and I've never used it nor do I know anyone to use it um, but I think worm farming is great so I'm really really excited to jump into this and uh, let's figure out how to assemble it it's supposed to be pretty easy Right, so that was pretty easy to assemble with my terrible assembly skills it still only took me about mm, I think like seven ish minutes and I got held up on step four I had no idea what the instructions were trying to tell me I I'm not good at assembly I know I'm not the only one so we are going to start filling this now instructions told me to fill it up three-fourths of the way with soil and then I'm going to put the worms and then I'm going to layer their food that I've been saving so the food I've been saving um, is pretty much everything minus meat dairy uh, they also can't have any type of citrus or citrus peels and then there's also oh onions and garlic so nothing like spicy why is it spicy uh, they can pretty much have everything outside of that I even have a clump of hair here uh, from my hairbrush so I saved all of that for them um, aside from everything else I compost and then we will layer it with some paper and some cardboard this is the rest of the seven cubic yards uh, of compost that we got delivered what almost two months ago now yeah we've been slacking moving this but we've gotten a ton of rain and we also didn't move it twice we typically end up moving the compost twice and we were not about to do that this year all right so i will note in the instructions it does state to keep this in a pretty shaded place you don't want your worms to overheat and die so this is actually one of my most shaded areas it's right outside actually my back door so it makes it perfect just to throw food scraps out especially because i've been doing a lot of juicing lately and that's perfect for worms so i got this filled with three-fourths of the way with the soil and now i'm actually just going to moisten it a little bit with some water I'm gonna add my worms now. So I got these from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. They seem to be the best option out there. Um, I did give them a little bit of food last night since they arrived last night and I knew I wasn't going to do this until the morning. them go that is absolutely crazy all right now I'm just going to top them with all the food scraps and everything and from everything I read says give them a few pounds of food initially and then after they've ate that up then you refill it okay, and then I'm just going to top with all of this brown paper I got from a package last week And then I'm just going to spray the paper down a little bit to make sure that everything stays moist. 
and that is it. I will definitely keep you guys updated on the situation with the Hungry Bin. If you are interested in it, you can go to Girl Oya's website and use my code BREE5 even for Oya's as well and get 5% off your purchase at Girl Oya. So speaking of Oya's, I'm actually going to go ahead and put these two in the ground. I'm expecting my seed potato order today and I really want to get those in the ground today if it comes. So I'm going to go ahead and prep this bed as if I was going to get seed potatoes today. So if you've never heard of this before, it is a clay vessel. I actually dig this into the ground. I have a visual with my celery. You guys will obviously be walking through this whole process. You dig this into the ground and essentially it will water your plants for you. It's an ancient form of irrigation. Um, I really like it. I personally bought Grow Oya and used Grow Oya before Oya ever reached out to me. So take that as you will i just really like the company and they've done a lot for me so i like to support a company that i personally like and i personally would never share with you guys anything that i don't already love so i'm gonna get these oyas in the ground we're gonna fill them with water and hopefully by that point my seed potato order will be here oh also if you've ordered Oyas or if you haven't ordered Oyas and you're interested, always keep the boxes for winter storage. You can't keep these in the ground. They will freeze um, boxes just so you can stack everything in the winter. Must. So it's been a few hours and we finally secured the goods. I think this was like the first time I've really waited all day for a package, but it's here. So I'm not going to cut my potatoes. I know you can cut potatoes to get more of a yield, but when I was reading into this, okay, so for anyone who's grown potatoes, leave me all of your tips, your tricks, everything down below. I've literally only attempted to grow potatoes once and I used organic potatoes from the store and I cut them and it was a terrible experience. <laughs> Either way, um, I got these, I got five pounds of Gold Rush, uh, Gold Rush russets, okay? I picked this variety simply for the fact it was called Gold Rush. Uh, one of my favorite songs by Taylor Swift is called Gold Rush and I'm a very undecisive person, especially when I am really choosing varieties for the first time to try, so if you've ever tried this definitely let me know your thoughts and your opinions while i was waiting for these to get delivered i already dug my little trenches and everything so this should go pretty fast <laughs> the topic of mulching or anything but if you do do oyas in your garden highly suggest mulching as well it will help retain that water and allow your beds just to be a lot better you need a mulch you, you need a mulch Whew. definitely got a lot warmer today than expected <laughs> on that note though i'm gonna go ahead and get all of this stuff watered in and call it a day hope you enjoyed spending the day with me i'll see you all next week bye, bye.